the new project, a joint partnership between the Eden Project and EGS Energy, could potentially produce enough carbon-neutral electricity from hot underground granite to supply 10% of the UK's energy requirements. Engineers believe that the geothermal energy stored in Cornish granite would eventually enable them to make a significant contribution to the national grid. Eden wants to work um, with EGS to build the first geothermal power plant in Britain. Um, in Cornwall on, our, on the Eden Project site. And the reason we want to do it is A, because it's uh, renewable, it's environmentally friendly, and it's a technology that was evolved uh, at the Camborne School of Mines originally. And we think it's per absolutely perfect to bring that sort of technology back to Cornwall to demonstrate um, realistically applicable renewable energy um, in, in a way that's totally fitting to the place, because we've got a lot of granite about. I think also it's worth saying that the technology um, is capable of producing up to 10% of all of Britain's um, electricity needs uh, and I think it's a, a technology which we hope the government itself will get behind because it's completely unobtrusive and there are no or very few environmental um, bad effects. I guess it's a rather bad English to put it put that way but um, it's a very small footprint um, and you can get the heat out of it for almost as long as you like by just, by just uh, drilling ever deeper once you've got to the right seam of heat. The Eden power plant would consist of two borehole systems up to four kilometres deep. Water would be circulated between two wells being heated by hot rocks in the process and returning to the surface at around 150 degrees Celsius where it would drive a binary turbine to create electricity. People have always uh, thought that Britain doesn't have geothermal resource. It's really a misconception. Even if you take Cornwall itself, it, the assessment shows it, it can supply 10% of the UK need for 200 years. And that's just Cornwall. You go to Devon and further north, it's a tremendous resource. The technology is ripe now to be for commercialization. And the reason we are trying to hold this meeting to bring to the attention of the public and the lawmakers that it's about time we address this. This is a resource of our own strategic resource something you'll be looking for in the years to come. The project is subject to planning permission and funding but could be completed and producing power by 2012. Oh, our ambition with our neighbours is always to become totally energy independent for all sorts of reasons, one of which is it's the future. Um, the second of which is um, we have a kind of primitive desire not to be vulnerable to the vagaries of global politics. Um, and the beauty of Cornwall itself is we've, we're a population of about half a million souls and we can actually trial all sorts of new ways of living and community energy projects and so on which may be of, uh, uh, of great use to other people. We're living in very, very exciting times at the moment and I think that one of the problems we all face is that I guess most people have, would say that the battle to describe whether climate change is or isn't happening has been won um, but we're now at the stage, it's like the infantile stage of talking about how we're going to ameliorate the effects of climate change. There is currently a geothermal plant in Southampton which supplies heat, but engineers at Eden say they hope to become the first working power plant that could potentially supply up to three megawatts of electricity.